Five, four, three, two, one. Cue music. This is Movies First with Alex First. Quite a sophisticated series of threads act as the backdrop to a typical good versus evil storyline in this belated sequel to the highly successful The Incredibles. That was released in 2004. For starters, there's the interplay between superhero husband and wife and between superhero parents and their children. Then, Mum, Elastigirl, voiced by Holly Hunter, who has stretchy flexibility, is grappling with going back to work and leaving her husband in charge of the kids. For his part, super strong dad, Mr Incredible, Craig T Nelson, is none too pleased that Mum has been selected for duty before him, and finds that looking after the children is far more difficult than he'd envisaged. There are the distinct personalities of these superhero children as they flex their muscles. Foremost amongst them, and undoubtedly the crowd favourite, is the baby, who it turns out has a raft of superpowers, one more awesome than the next. Big Sister Violet is grappling with the fact that due to circumstances, a nice boy at school who asked her out no longer remembers who she is. And then there's the introduction of a raft of additional superheroes, a mini superhero army, if you will, who each has his or her own prowess. In Incredibles 2, superhero mother Helen Parr is called on to lead a campaign to bring superheroes who've fallen out of favour back, while her husband Bob navigates the day-to-day heroics of normal life at home. That means attending to their children, Violet, Dash and baby Jack-Jack, whose superpowers are about to be discovered. Their mission is derailed, however, when a new villain emerges with a brilliant and dangerous plot that threatens everything. But the Pars don't shy away from a challenge, especially with Frozone, the voice of Samuel L. Jackson, who can deep-freeze anything he wants by their side. That's what makes this family so incredible. You're listening to Movies First. For more, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Like its successful forerunner, which amassed more than $800 million at the worldwide box office, Incredibles 2 is written and directed by Brad Bird. He also did Iron Giant and Ratatouille. Incredibles 2 has elements of action and fun, playfulness and humour, but it's also drawn out and has flatter patches. It's not as incredible as the first film in the franchise, because it's not as funny or as pithy. You can pick the rotten fruit on the tree early on, and then it just becomes a case of when and how they'll show their true colours. From there, Incredibles 2 winds down to its inevitable conclusion. Notwithstanding a few laughs, the movie had the potential to be better than it turned out to be, which is average rather than great. Still, it scores a 7 out of 10. You've been listening to Movies First with Alex First. Subscribe to the full podcast at Audioboom, Stitcher and iTunes or your favourite podcast distributor. This has been another quality podcast production from Bytes.com. Bytes.com.